I want to stick on the renewable energy sector as well. And uh, there, after the change of Premier in Victoria, there are fears that this could uh, slow down uh, Daniel Andrews' grand plan for offshore wind. Well, I mean... I mean, this stuff's just running into roadblocks right around the country. Anyway, no, no wonder it's hugely expensive and, and complicated. And guess what? Most people don't want huge wind turbines offshore any more than they want them in their front yards. Well, what a surprise. Uh, won't someone think of the whales? I mean, we saw a court decision today that has now held up a $15 billion offshore oil and gas project, Scarborough for Woodside, on the basis of um, whale dreaming and whale song lines. I, I don't even know what that is. Uh, whether you're trying to put up you know, a 1,000 offshore wind turbines uh, off Sydney, which is what Chris Bowen is proposing, uh, whether it's in Victoria, whether there's been a change of the Cabinet, change of the Premier, it doesn't matter. Business just needs to know what the rules are. And unfortunately, the rules in all things for projects in Australia keep changing. They keep getting taken to court. They keep getting shut down after they've committed billions in capital. It's bad for our national interest. It's bad for Australia's reputation. And guess what? The Labor government gave $14 million to the Environmental Defender's Office to take on these sorts of cases and be funded by the taxpayer. That was one of the first budget items last October. Yeah, it's shocking here. This is taxpayers' money being used against the interests of taxpayers. Just to correct you, Chris Bowen wouldn't be putting wind turbines offshore Sydney. He wouldn't be that courageous or sensible. He's shoving them up the coast, the central coast, Port Stephens, the Newcastle area, and those people are the people who have to put up with this and their environment puts up with it. Just briefly before I let you go, all the COVID political leaders have gone, all the premiers and the Prime Minister, of course, in Scott Morrison, except for Anastasia Palaszczuk. She says she's going to stick around. Surely she's going to step aside before the next election, which is just over a year away. Well, that's wishful thinking, I'm sure. But I, Daniel Andrews said the same thing just a couple of weeks ago. And I'll guarantee you, the Labor machine will move on Anastasia Palaszczuk if they continue to look like they're going to lose the next election. I know she wants to break the record in May. I'm sure that's the case. Uh, but they are all about winning elections. Uh, and unfortunately, in Queensland, we, we, we've got a long history of actually being defeated by the Labor machine. I don't think you'll see Palaszczuk there for October next year. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the LNP would love it if she stuck around, uh, and which is every reason that uh, Labor will make sure she goes. Thanks for joining us. Keith, have a good weekend.